Welcome to another episode of Riding and Wrenching. I am your host, Q the Rider. And in today's episode, I'm going to give you a quick walk around and a sound sample from my new stereo system and my 2018 Harley Davidson Road Glide. Before I get started, I want to give a quick shout out and thanks to Jay from Volunteer Audio, as well as Soundstream and Precision Power. I'm telling you, this system is absolutely incredible and wait till you hear it. I don't know how good of a job this video is going to do of, uh, of giving this system justice, but I'm just telling you it's absolutely incredible. So let's check it out. I've got an itch I can't scratch, I'm missing a piece that completes a whole part of me, an open wound start to see. Everybody come here, gather round, welcome to the freak show, the best in town. What the hell's wrong with me? I don't get along with anybody, honestly. I've been living in my own head constantly. Thoughts jumbled around, think I need a new lobotomy. Wait, all these thoughts are too negative. I don't want to get lost in the sedative. Got to show them what I got, I'm competitive. You know I'm about to go live, I won't let them win. I'll take a stab, I want to chase a bag. I want to weigh, I can change all the things I lack. I got to face the facts, I got to taste and that. Got me obsessed with the rest, I got an itch to scratch. <laughs> Alright guys, so there is a quick sound sample from my new uh, system on my Harley Road Glide. Uh, we had a lot of fun with this project. It's an absolutely incredible system. We replaced the stock head unit with a new unit from Soundstream as well as new speakers from Precision Power. So we replaced all four of the stock speakers. We added an amp, but wait, there's more. I also did saddlebag speakers. I did all of this work myself and that was what was so cool about this project. And I can tell you that the system sounds incredible. And I don't know if this video is doing it justice, you really have to see it in person, but I'm loving it so far, it's absolutely incredible. So what I like about the system is that, what I like about the system is that I get Apple CarPlay, you can get Android Auto, but I'm an Apple guy. Uh, and that gives me an opportunity to use the better map system that's in my phone as opposed to the stock unit that's in the Harley Road Glide or it's in the Harley uh, Boom system, which really isn't the best. Uh, another key advantage that you get, um, hey, it's louder. I can hear. So when I'm playing my podcast, when I'm out riding on my long distance trips, I can hear it and it sounds amazing. And as you can tell from this sound sample, this thing is absolutely incredible. Now a couple of things that you give up. Now in the stock Harley Boom system that came in my 18 Road Glide, it gave you a low fuel warning. The Soundstream system will not give you that low fuel warning. Of course, your fuel gauge still works. You still get your red light on a fuel gauge, but you just don't have a pop-up reminder on the screen. So if that's important to you, yeah, you'd be giving that up. Another thing that's different on the uh, Soundstream system is uh, the info button. If you hit the info button, it'll give you the temperature and I think it gives you an oil pressure warning and there's something else on there. The only thing I ever used it for personally was just checking the outside temp, but you lose that functionality as well. Another change is the thumb controls. Now they work with the sound stream, but they don't work in the same way that they do with the original Harley Boom. Now in some ways it's better because you have sound control on both uh, joysticks on the right and the left. So that's, that's different. If you push the joystick, that mutes the whole system. So that's kind of nice. Another difference between the Soundstream unit and the Harley Boom, and this is a good thing, is that when you turn the system off, it disconnects your phone from Bluetooth immediately. That annoys the crap out of me with the Harley system because it won't disconnect immediately. It actually asks you a question, do you want to disconnect? And I've always been annoyed by that, but this new system will just disconnect automatically, which is actually pretty cool. And speaking of Bluetooth, it also links up a lot faster than the original Boom. Now, I haven't done a comparison between the Soundstream 
and the Boom GTS on my Street Glide, but that's coming up in a future video. All right, guys, so that's all I have. Just a quick walk around of the system. Wanted to give you an opportunity to see what it sounds like. Uh, the install video is coming up. That's going to be a long one, but I'm going to show you everything from beginning to end because we did this install in Knoxville at Volunteer Audio's uh, shop. So it was really cool. Jay is awesome. His crew is awesome. Just really, really good folks. And I like doing business with good people. So if you're looking for a good sound system up upgrade, definitely give Jay a call at Volunteer Audio. Let's take one more quick look at my system here, and then we're going to wrap this video up. Alright guys, this is Q, I'm riding, I'm wrenching, I am out.